Hey everyone, spoiler warning, there are spoilers. There's definitely spoilers when it comes to what Shizaki's quirk is, and there are spoilers when it comes to talking about the uh, general premise of Shizaki. There's not any plot-specific spoilers in terms of like what exactly happens in Shizaki's arc, but just know uh, details about Shizaki are in the video. I've done my best to keep it vague for uh, the bigger moments. I would just keep that in mind. Yeah, explanation. Hey everybody, it's Triple L and today I'm coming in with a casual My Hero Academia explanation video, this time specifically focused around Overhaul. And if you're wondering about who Overhaul, the villain introduced at the end of My Hero Academia Season 3 is, then you're in the right place. This is an anime viewer guide video that will give you the rundown on this new villain. Just describing him would be kind of boring, so I'm going to add a gimmick for this video and describe him in tropes when possible, because that's fun. And don't worry, I'm a bad guy, so I'll link every trope that I noticed that I mentioned in the description down below so that you can go on TV Tropes and check it out. So I really hope you enjoy. And on that note, if you do enjoy, please feel free to share the video. Uh, YouTube doesn't really help the channel too often now. And even something as simple as liking or sharing really makes a noticeable difference. I'm hoping that this video is broad enough that people will check it out, but every little bit helps. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's just get into the video and where do we start? Well, how about his name? His real name is Kai Chizaki, a villain who is a badass in a nice suit, who is the dawn of an old school Yakuza outfit and has an evil plan to rid the world of the superhero plague and bring the Yakuza back to the top of the criminal food chain. Don't be swayed by his desire to prop up the Yakuza though, because he is a bad boss in all senses of the word. You'll see in the anime, get excited. Personality wise, Chizaki is a bit of a smug snake and an egotistical maniac, and this is evident by how he's constantly giving out the reason you suck speeches to a variety of people, be they other villains or heroes. He thinks he's the solution to the world of heroes, and his early results are definitely ones that would empower that already gigantic ego. He is also a giant hypocrite, hating people with quirks despite his own quirk being a fundamental part of his plans. Without his quirk, these things don't even work out. TV Tropes describes this particular behavior as being a boomerang bigot. And don't worry, this is something that Shigaraki calls him on, so you can look forward to that. Chizaki's mask also serves a practical function for him, aside from just making him look scary. The guy seems like a germaphobe. The mask, along with his gloves, are his barriers against the rest of the dirty world. Because of his germaphobe tendencies and Honestly, probably because of an ambiguous disorder on top of that, his berserk button is pressed if someone touches him, and once they do, the guy goes axe crazy and freaks the heck out. When he's like this, he has skewed priorities, and that leads to disproportionate retribution, like when he blows off arm because of a single touch. Interestingly enough, his mask draws inspiration from the masks worn by plague doctors. The mask itself ends up reflecting his view of the world. He sees quirks as a plague-like illness and he sees himself as a doctor that will distribute the medicine that will heal said plague. On that note, his villainous scheme revolves around distributing a special bullet that will really mess with someone's quirk once it enters their body. He gets very far into this plan. His villain name, Overhaul, comes from his quirk, Overhaul. The quirk is essentially the touch of death combined with healing hands. It allows Shizaki to break something down and reassemble it into either its original form or something modified. What's cool about this process is that Shizaki can choose to stop halfway, leaving something deconstructed without having to go through the full cycle. If he's going all the way to restoring it, you get the healing hand variations and the person is restored to even healthier than their present condition. For instance, people had their cavities fixed. He can use this ability on both living and non-living things. The quirk is powerful enough that it can be used on someone who's on the brink of death even. His quirk ends up sharing a few similarities with Shigaraki's quirk. Both are dangerous deadly quirks that activate on touch, with the biggest differences at the time of their meeting being that Shizaki doesn't need to make full contact with all fingers and thumbs, and that Shizaki's quirk has more capabilities. Along with the quirk though, he and Shigaraki share a few more commonalities, and these commonalities are the basis by which he can function as Shigaraki's foil. Both have an older benefactor that they care about, both have problems with the current society, both have similar breakdowns when things start falling apart, and both are trying to take All For One's place as the ultimate villain. 
The way they go about things, however, is where you see the differences in the characters and where things get really interesting and you start seeing those more foil-like qualities from Shizaki. The arc that Shizaki is the arc villain of is by far the longest arc of Hero Academia to this date. This led to a lot of fans getting arc fatigue as the arc dragged on. He is also a villain responsible for a lot of firsts in Hero Academia, so to speak. Furthermore, fans also found Shizaki to be fairly overpowered. If you watched any of my videos, you probably heard me talk about the topic too. Shizaki just really has a very versatile quirk, and you're going to see the full brunt of it during the events of Season 4. Finally, Shizaki is voiced by Kenjiro Suda, who you may have heard as Mons Piet from Seven Deadly Sins, or maybe even Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the English voice actor, though, is Kellen Goff, uh, you may know as... Well, actually, he has a ton of minor roles, but maybe you know him as Funtime Freddy, Molten Freddy, and Fredbear from the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Anyway, as a final little dose of tropes, Shizaki is an abusive parent who is actually an evil uncle thanks to a family relationship switcheroo who would hurt a child and would hit a girl. Suffice to say, he is a hate sink for the more emotional Hero Academia fans, and man, he earns it. Like, let's face it, it's fun to hate on Shizaki. He causes a lot of destruction. Anyway, those fans rejoiced when he was hit by laser guided karma. And man, it was a glorious moment. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of the video. We made it. We made it to the end. Oh my goodness. Wow. Explanation video over. You know, I really want to compete with the wiki with these videos. And I think I can. I think I think there's a market on YouTube for it. So I, I, I'm hoping that this video does well. Gonna, gonna 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 really like cross my fingers and hope it, it goes well and then with this video I can make other videos that aren't explanation videos it's a nice little cycle uh, at least that's what I'm trying to hit but hey uh, this is just like the end of the video just a little preamble as or it's just I guess the post talk I hope you guys are all having a good day thanks for watching man I uh, really appreciate it um, I think I'll do a few more explanation videos for the people coming up in um, season three or sorry, not season three, season four of your academia. So uh, keep a lookout on, uh, yeah, keep a lookout for that. And um, I'll also be ramping up a little bit of Hero Academia theory videos. And eventually, I will return to Hero Academia shipping videos. But it's just I like taking breaks from that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And if you got anything you want to add, please let me know down below. Any hoosers, Till next time. I hope you have an absolutely great day.